Wood Shaking Homies Inferno Yuris are back with the new Phantom model. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So it's been a long time since we had a yo-yo from Inferno Yo-Yos. Huge fan of this company. Nathan and John, you guys are freaking awesome. So if you didn't know, John is the dad. Nathan is actually the. It's like literally, like it's like his company. You know, and he was like a kid when he started it, so his dad helped him out. And now he's like actually an adult. You know, he goes to college, and I think he's going to college for music, so that's very cool. And <laughs> he's old enough to drink beer, so he gave me some. Uh, I don't think I don't know if he's old enough to drink beer, but I am. I'm 37, so these are going on beers. But if you're young, you know, you can put these on your Coca Cola. Here's whatever, you know, your energy drinks, whatever your kids drink nowadays. And this is the Phantom Mono uh, logo. So if you don't know, the Phantom Mono is actually the model metal version of the Twilight Phantom, which I loved. A great yo-yo. And look at this. He's doing all these awesome, I'm put this going on my disc golf bag right away. Inferno yo-yos. Just add skills. Love it. High chews. I mean, this kid knows his shit. This is just the candy. I mean... And the pins, I mean, and the beer, I mean, the koozies, man. Already, I'm in love. I'm in love. And I haven't even opened this yo-yo yet. The, the Twilight Phantom, I love that yo-yo. It's freaking awesome. I did a review. You can click right there in the corner. I'll put a little thing. Well, hopefully it works. I always try to, and half the time it doesn't work. If not, there'll be a link in the description um, where you can check out a review on that. But this company started in, like, 2018, and then we got hit with COVID. And I think his mom had, like cancer and it's just lots of bad things you know so it's been a while but supposedly nathan's got like five designs he's working on and this is the first and i love the artwork it's just got that like heavy metal freaking you know kind of, it kind of remind you know what this reminds me of is creep show do you guys know creep show creep show one and two by stephen king you know they made him into movies but that's what that reminds me of just looking at it i'm like oh it's like a it's like creep show but that's, it might be just because I'm old. You young kids might know, like, what the hell are you talking about? I really, really, really like all these, like, cutouts. I love that it's black like this. Sometimes, like, I don't know. When yours are all black, I just think they look extra badass. When I was young, I used to hate black yo-yos because I thought, like, oh, I always wear black t-shirts and then people can't see the yo-yo. But then I started filming myself yo-yoing. I'm like, oh, no, people can still see the yo-yo. You're stupid. And plus there's white on the outside and everything. We got a concave bearing. No, nope, a center track bearing. Actually. Clear pads, stainless steel axle. This is all standard stuff. We're gonna put all the specs right there if we didn't already. But yeah, it definitely looks like in your hand it, like a mono metal Twilight Phantom, which is you know kind of what the OU is. So there's not too much I can really say about it here. Great unboxing experience. Uh, I can't say Enough about the unboxing experience, especially these. And the pen, I really like the pen too. But um, yeah, so let's put a string on it and let the fun begin. All right guys, we are ready to rock and roll, so let's have a little fun. Okay, very easy to catch it on the string, the shape and size. Basically perfect for competition. Very much like the Twilight Phantom. It's an uh, older brother. Nice long spinning, uh, even for uh, mono metal. Well, I guess I, I guess there's plenty of mono metal yo-yos. And you know, just because you're mono metal doesn't mean it can't be awesome. But this one's definitely ready to rock and roll right out of the box for competition. Very fast playing. Finish is nice. I whacked my hand there. I didn't really slow down the yo-yo too much. Response is good. It's not snagging on me. Probably won't snag on this either. Yep, didn't snag. A lot of times when your yo-yos are fresh out of the box with new pads, they will actually snag on that trick. Um, but this one didn't. The gap width I think is really perfect for its actual width. Be 
because the yo-yo is a little more angular too, it plays a little bigger um, than it actually is. And I mean that in a good way. Like it's a little easier to catch it on the string and stuff um, just because it's a little little more angular. You know, it fall, the, when the string hits it, it'll fall into the gap more. Oops. So pretty rusty on this trick, but on a yo-yo like this, I could probably still nail it. Yep, there we go. But yeah, definitely, definitely a competition area. Super, super smooth too, like 100%. Probably the best modern model yo yo I've checked out in a while. Like, for just like a you know, yo yo that's made by a small company, they've only put out a couple of yo yo's. First year they put out in years. I mean, this thing is on par with like, you know, everything. Like, uh, yo yo friends, uh, Duncan. I mean, it's the quality and everything feels really good. Stupid Yuki Slack destroyed my string typing. Hey, good enough. Yeah, I mean, and the yo yo, it, it feels like a competition size yo yo and everything, but it's not too big where like chopsticks feel awkward or anything like that. I mean, it's really like perfect. I was a big fan of the Twilight Phantom, if you haven't seen my review on that. Um, but this thing, it's, you, know, you saw the finger spin uh, in the intro, but it can thumb grind really well. Like, it's stupid easy to thumb grind on it. And this finish is really nice. Like, you can grind for a really long time with this. Like, really long time. So if you are into, like, I mean, grinds aren't, like, the most popular thing in the world. But if you're into, like, some weird... You know, stuff like that, or you know, contact. If you're like a contact juggler, there's also a yo yo. You will appreciate the ability of this thing to grind. There was a couple yo yo's back in the day made by like a company called like Spy, I think it was. And they were like always known as being like they, they were like Teflon coated or something, like amazing at grinds. And they were also like black like this, but this thing feels like that. In my like when I'm grinding with it and stuff, it, it feels if you've ever played it on those yo yo's, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Kind of like a like a niche thing, like like that trick. I like not wearing a glove. I do that in the palm of my hand, where like my hands are sweaty from all these stupid studio lights and everything. And the yo-yo still just like flowed on it. Uh, and the the cup for the finger spin is actually really nice too. Um, but in general, just like grinds in general, are really fun to do with this thing. And no matter what type of grind they are. But once again, I know that's kind of like an old school thing. Not a lot of people do grinds nowadays. Um, but I don't know. Why not? They're fun. Let me try that one again. I missed the string. But like, yeah, I can catch it like between my fingers like that. And the freaking thing keeps spinning. And I'm not wearing a glove. Once again, it's hot in here. Um, you know, I'm wearing a medium shirt because in 2018 I was a little skinnier than I am now. But, you know, it all works out. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Huge fan. This is Joe. It's already out. It came out on Halloween, I believe. Uh, on the Inferno Yo-Yo's website. The link will be down below and everything. But Nathan and John, you guys are awesome. I'm so looking forward to everything um, you guys are coming out with. And uh, it's just cool to see a company like you guys grow up, like literally grow up, you know. Nathan was like, I don't know, like 15, 16 or something when I met him. And, you know, and he was making, designing Yo-Yo's back then. The Twilight Phantom is actually like his signature he made for himself. He's like, it's my company, I should make a Yo-Yo. And I was like, I 100% agree with that and uh, this is just the mono metal version so if you liked that you know, get this one this one you don't have to be so shy about hitting it on stuff or uh, you know you don't have to be as careful with it because it is a mono metal yo-yo can take a beating and you know I, I mean I wouldn't beat it up on purpose but you know that's the one nice thing about mono metal yo-yos you don't need to be as protected as you know their bimetal counterparts you know which you can make the ring come loose and it vibes or whatever so yeah this thing is dead smooth perfect awesome um, really looking forward to everything this company comes out with. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, thank you to Inferno Yo-Yos for sending it to me. This was not a paid video. They just sent me the yo-yo and were like, if you could make a video, that'd be awesome. And I was like, yeah, I'll give my honest review. And this is my honest review. Best model metal I've checked out in a while. Really cool looking too. Mean, angular. 
punk rock, heavy metal, Stephen King vibes, and I can't say enough good things. So I'll see you guys later, and peace out.